Hi everyone, I'd like to do a quick little video for a new to me vendor based on the title. Um, this was one, a vendor that I hadn't tried before. It's called CQ Handcrafted. And if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, this was from, uh, I think it was Melissa Johnson Haight who had posted something on Facebook about, hey, if you haven't tried this, you really needed to go try it and stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna jump in there and go check it out, right? Well, this poor box came in the same day as the one from Britta's. And <gasps> this one, uh, obviously they came from different directions. This one must've got caught in the rain and got run over by something. This one's like, it got mashed. You could tell that the, uh, the label started to like fade from water and it obviously got wet because the um the, <laughs> the receipt thing the card you could tell it got all wet it you know it's discolored it's basically faded out from where it had you could see a lot of the color dripped onto the uh, receipt that i have all right so the card said let's see if i can read it at this point it says thank you your order means the most to me. Your support allows me to create fun things. You are an awesome human. Well, thank you. You are an awesome human too, Anya. It says, Etta, thank you so much. Uh, cure for six weeks past the pour dates on the labels. Happy melting heart with Anya. Um, six weeks sounds great to me. I like it. I just said in my video for uh, Britta's, i uh, my you know standard seems to be two months for all vendor stuff so no problem with that all right i don't think i'll be able to read what it was like oh no i can kind of see it all right so let's see looks like there may be a, a sample in here in a nice pretty bag thank you so much for that i appreciate i appreciate that let's see there is a card <clears throat> cq handcrafted wax melts And the other side says Anya Grindrod. Grin Grindrod. I probably said that wrong. I'm sorry. Owner, scan and shop. Let's connect. And then it's got her uh, information for different uh, apps. You could probably scan and shop from the, the little thing that I just put up. Put that to the side. I think there's a little sticker. Dream high. Hey! Well, if you can hold on to stuff, you know. Dream high. That is really cute. I like that. And then the sample that I was sent is Cozy and Seaside. Amber and Lavender, Joe Malone type. Cashmere Woods, Sel de Mer, which is uh, sea salt, vanilla, and vanilla bean. Although I think that's French, right? Sel de Mer. Probably saying it wrong, but... I'm having a hard time smelling too, because if you watch the Brita's video, I caught a cold from my grandson, as did my sister and my nephew. Oh, this smells really good. Wow. The little bit that I can smell. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the wax. I think it's me because my sinuses and everything are all messed up, so. I did not take the peanuts out of this one. Let me see if I can get some of them out. I don't think I need to, but all right. I think this is the first one on my receipt. No, it's not. Second to last one on my receipt. I got one, uh, looks like, this was the only 3.5 ounce clamshell that I picked up and it was in Cosmic Laundry Day. And it's got Apple Mango Tango love apple mango tango baja cactus blossom and cotton candy oh wow well, she says uh six weeks right no problem here poor date 12 9 23 works for me means it's ready uh oh look how cute this clamshell their hearts that is nice i like that all right let's see and it's got some glitter on the top Ooh, I like the apple mango tango with the with the other two, Baja Cactus Blossom and Cotton Candy. 
that apple mango tango is really strong. Um, I like that. That's one of the reasons I like apple mango tango. So not disappointed there. All right, this one was the last one on the on the receipt and or packing slip. And this is in the, the, the rest of them are gonna all be 2.5 ounce wax melt bars. And so this one is in Barnabas, patchouli, cedar, vetiver, labdanum, frankincense, and pink frosted animal crackers. And this one was poured in April of 24. Oh, that's a me, that's a me, that's a me set. Oh, I, I kind of figured based on all of the notes that I just read that this was gonna be something. Wow, that is good. Oh, it borders on a cologne scent, but I, I don't think it, I don't think it completely smells like a cologne scent. Somebody else might say, yes, it does. But to me, no. I think because it's got patchouli and it's got the frankincense and it's got the labdanum, which I have no idea what that's supposed to smell like. But um, this fantastic Barnabas. I would get more of Barnabas. Absolutely. All right. The next one I got is, I'm, just, I'm making sure that I see it on the, on the thing. Peonies and Pear. And peonies and pear is juicy pear, raindrops, peony blossoms with hints of apple and vanilla. And this one was poured in March of 24. And this one is pink. Pretty pink. I think my lighting might be messing with that. I still haven't figured out where to put the lights. I can't remember. I don't remember where the primo spot was for the light so I I just move them every time this is beautiful wow the the blend in this is gorgeous sweet and I don't know if it's from the peony blossoms the pear the juicy pear or the apple like it's a sweet apple too Wow. Definitely get like a floral from it, but I get I get the fruity of the pear and the apple too. But almost in like a floral kind of way. That is spectacularly pretty. All right. Next one is Ah, second one on the list. Hat trick. Hat trick is funnel cake, cotton candy, and caramel tobacco poured in April 24. And this one looks like, based on what I'm looking at right there in the screen, it's like a, almost like a hot pink right there, but on the back I'm looking at it and it's like purple. So it's got like a little dual layer and some glitter. Okay, so this one, I, I almost expect to not smell it as good because funnel cake, cotton candy, notoriously something I don't smell very well. But then I was hoping that the caramel tobacco would kind of carry it for me so that I could. So I won't know really until I warm this one. I hope I don't get glitter on my nose. Yeah. <laughs> the little bit I can smell, I can smell it. I just can't smell it really strong. Um, like I could smell those last two, Barnabas and Peonies and Pears. I could smell those really well. This one smells pretty. I just might, I might have a hard time smelling this one. I may have to do that like in the candle crock just to see if I can get enough heat on it to really throw for me. Uh, this one's going to be the last one I do. All right, I got... Where's this one? Oh, okay. This one's called Waffles at the Inn. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I do love pumpkin pecan waffles. Didn't at one time, but I do now. Uh, pumpkin pecan. Can't talk now. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Sweet bakery dough. Cinnamon sugar donuts. And raspberry drizzle. 
and it's got a pour of 426.24 so and let's see it's got like um like multicolor on the bottom right it looks like it's kind of the beigey color mostly in the middle and then you've got that drizzle again on the top with some glitter Ooh, I can smell the pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, that's pretty. I'm trying to see if I smell the raspberry drizzle. That might come out on warm. I'm not smelling it on cold. But it smells really good. It's making it's making me hungry. It's making me want a dessert and I can't have any. Oh, it smells smells very good very good and then the last one I got wouldn't be a surprise to anybody who watches my channel it's called coffee cake and the stars it's got coffee right there was a coffee scent it was available I picked it up coffee cake and the stars sipping on a hot cup of joe while eating a slice of chocolate heaven by a cozy sweet fire that sounds really good. Poured 415. That sounds really, really nice. Brown, it's got like a dark color, almost like, uh, I haven't decided if I want to have uh, my coffee black or not. Could be, because chocolate heaven, that could be the bottom and the coffee could be the dark, right? Like. Maybe you don't like to put any creamer in your coffee. And you get all the sweetness that you need from the cake. Ooh, yeah, I almost think, I almost feel like that. Oh, that's rich. I feel like the, the fire is more in the background, which could be good because you don't want it to take, oh, I don't want it to take over on the coffee on me. It does have like some coloring on the bottom too. I hear uh, Zena hitting the door. Cause she, she like knocks on the door when I don't open up right away. Well, she wanted to go outside. I wanted to get this video done. So she, now she's got to wait a couple of minutes till I finish. Oh, this is really good. Um, I'm definitely getting the coffee. The coffee is um, not like like really sweet. I get like this dark roast, but I don't get, I personally do not get like uh, so dark that it's skunky or anything like that. It's just like a rich dark roast. I'm not smelling the fire too much. And I don't like, I don't usually like chocolate in my wax, but I'm not really getting a lot of chocolate. Maybe it'll all come out when I warm it, but right now I'm really just enjoying the coffee. Okay, I better stop because it's gonna make me want a cup of coffee and it's a little late to be having coffee at this point. Although I do have some decaf too, so maybe. Anyways, thank you for stopping by to see what I got from CQ Handcrafted. Thank you so much, Anya. I really, I love everything. The only one that, like I said, that might give me trouble is Hat Trick, but that's me personally because I struggle with bakery. Somebody else might say, wow, that thing throws so strong. and It might not for me, but that, my goodness, the peony and pears. Oh, and the Barnabas. Yeah, those were my two favorites. My two favorites, but that's based on what I like. So anyways, thank you so much. Thank you for the sample. Thank you for the sticker. Thank you for all of your hard work and uh, um, no reflection on you. Obviously it rained. Somebody decided to stomp on my box. <laughs> it, it doesn't bother me. I just think it's kind of funny. Anyways, I have to go let Zena in. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again in another video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.